Ladies and gentlemen, the bald chef of Bergamo is on location in New Orleans. Actually, in the outskirts of New Orleans. That's right, New Orleans, Louisiana. We're going to have some special meals this week. We're going to do some traditional Cajun Creole cooking. Got a guest chef here. We're going to do a couple recipes. Let's check back and see what culinary delights await us on this episode of the Bald Chef of Bergamo special series. The Bald Chef of Bergamo on location in Cajun country. I would tell you, no you won't let me date, date Korean girls anymore. Oh, yeah. Just putting a so, little so garlic. I'm, so I'm losing my Korean language. And with the, the butter? Melt some butter. Can never have too much garlic. Yeah. Oh. Can never have too much garlic, exactly. Yeah. Yes, Chef, oh. Aunt Liz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But the good smell of the well, This garlic. is going to be the sauce that we're going to put on the charbroiled oysters. And what One else? of the, the greatest single dishes oh. the world has ever known. Now, pays up to her face. Yeah. You have to show who it is. Oh, no. <laughs> and what else, Lucy? You can get it butter and garlic. Um, and Mike said. So, so just to melt some butter. Just warm this up slightly. Parsley or anything like that? Do you put spot in? Shot in there. All right, so now we're going to add a little bit of fresh lemon juice. This Squeeze is in our kitchen. Lemon. And I had just, I mean, just, it was filled up with gear. I couldn't I find the one with the shot. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. 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 There we go. A little bit of whiskey. Yeah, there we go. Just for a little bit of, a little bit of flavor. A couple of drops. Clean out the seeds there. Thank you, Mike. Stir this up. We're not, we're not, we're not yeah, sautéing so this, gar this garlic. It's in this little monitor here. Just it up. Right, just heating it up. Make it a little warm right. before we add the parsley. And that's the picture. And oh. so well, is, the Parmesan the cheese we'll yeah. add at the so end. So we had to frame it. We had video playback for them to see. Oh, They're framing in their hands and stuff. Excellent. Uh -huh. So on this installment of the Bald Chef of Bergamo, we're going to make char broiled oysters. Put them on the grill. And what I do, fresh uh, oysters from. We'll put the seasoning, the the, the, the concoction, right? There. We'll put the them on. We'll put it on. After Just they've had a chance yeah. to cook. After they've warmed up a bit. The grill is nice and hot. These are some beautiful fresh oysters. Put them on the grill. And the sauce, that butter, garlic, parsley. Lemon juice, Parmigiano, Reggiano. There you go. It's all good. Whoa, what was that one? No. And how long will these grill? This will really, depending upon the fire, but I'd say just five minutes five or so. Minutes. And then it'll be heaven. Yes. So, one of the great dishes in New Orleans charbroiled oysters. People like oysters on the half shell. These are fresh oysters. Shucked just, just a few moments ago. They throw it on a hot grill. They're cooking in their juices. Been on it for about a minute, two minutes. And then we're gonna throw on special butter, garlic, parsley, lemon juice sauce that we were making earlier. And then sprinkle on some Parmesan and red cheese. And that, that flame is good. That provides a little bit more flavor to it as well. So it's okay. Coat those with all that butter and garlic. And what, what can you say? Oysters, fresh oysters, garlic, butter, and Parmesan red cheese. cheese. Heaven on the Half Shell, the new name for Charbroiled Oysters. Heaven on the Half Shell. Look at that. Fantastic job, Emily. Fantastic. <laughs> this is just going to be perfection. Oh my God. Feeling smoking. Now we'll douse it with the cheese. 
it's wonderful having being having guest chefs on the show. If I just get to sit and watch, watch the perfection, <laughs> and I get to eat with that loading up on the cheese. Oh, that's just, that's just perfect. And then that cheese. Then that cheese just absorbs the butter as well. I can't wait to try these. These will be ready in another minute or so. And then we're going to be just devouring. Check back when they're done. Look at these cooking in their juices. Aren't they pretty? Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice and large. Is it all right? A little tough to handle? Yeah. Maybe to get a spoon for you there. Yeah. Look at that. You'd make a good point. But if she had a metal spoon, it would be better. But there you go. Look. I just got to do that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. 